Billy Jean, come on. You. Come on, sister. You. You're welcome. Hey guys, welcome back to Ashley's Homestead Adventures. It is a brisk 25 degrees outside, but it's sunny, which is nice. Um, I went in the barn this morning and did, you know, fed everybody. Uh, it was super cold this morning, so I just got everybody their hay and uh, got them their morning food, broke ice, moved water heaters and things like that. And uh, now I'm headed out to uh, work on the stalls, uh, what I can get done on the stalls. Uh, they're, you know, they're still frozen a lot, uh, but I want to get out what I can. And I haven't fed the chickens yet, so I'm going to feed the chickens. And we're just going to kind of do catch up work. Um, I'm catching up from being down um, from a back injury and um, also from uh, just having some downtime with some grease, with some grief from some loss that we faced. Um, but anyway, come along with me and let's uh, get some farm chores done. First thing is first. I am going to get um, the morning grains doled out.
right there, Lil? She says, no, I'm ticked off now. So something that I wanted to give you a bit of information on um, as far as the chickens go and as you guys can see and if you watched yesterday's video you know that the chicken coop is a little bit shorter because we had a tree fall on it um, so their run got shortened a little bit until it thaws out and we can build them a longer run again um, but as far as the bucketing water to the chickens um, we're in the middle of an arctic blast. Everything is frozen. Half my spigots are frozen. Luckily the spigot right up here at the uh, shop is thawed and so I can bucket water. I'm pretty close to the chicken coops. Um, but also on top of that, it used to be at our Oregon farm, I had all heated buckets in every pin. Um, and normally during something like this, I would have a heated dog water bowl in with my chickens. That is my best recommendation for a heated chicken water. Um, do with it what you want, but the bowls usually come in blue or green. They usually hold like, I think it's like four quarts. Um, yeah, it seems to me like it's four quarts. Uh, you know, so it's not a super huge amount, but you plug it into an extension cord and run it somewhere and, you know, then you have a, a heated water bowl out there that does not freeze. Right now I'm just dumping their water and refilling it because we do not have the electrical infrastructure up yet at the coops. Um, we don't, we've got to re redo all of the electric, all of the electric in the shop. Um, and we don't want to, right now we've got heaters running in the barn and we don't want to overwhelm it or cause a, you know, um, a, a shortage or anything like that by running chicken waters, um, and extension cords. Cause I would have to run extension cords. We don't have electricity run out to the coop. Um, which leads me to another thing to explain to you, um, <clears throat> that, may or may not help you some of you guys are terribly worried about your chickens in this cold weather and i am here to tell you don't um the here are here is what chickens need i've raised chickens for years and years and years uh and as long as you're talking about laying chickens and you're not talking about um you know meat chickens tend to be a little bit more fragile uh as far as temperatures go but just your regular old farm chickens like what I got, barred rocks, and I've got my Easter eggers. I do not run a light to my chickens in the wintertime. You can, you absolutely can. The biggest thing that the light does is it tricks their, their body into thinking that it's summertime, and so they continue to lay eggs. When the days shorten up, they quit laying eggs. I believe in letting my hens go through a natural break, and I believe in allowing them to not not lay eggs in the winter. Um, I, I'm okay with that. 
and it keeps me from hanging a light inside their coop um, and I just believe in a more natural method. Some people will put a heat lamp inside their coop. I have done it before. I have burnt a chicken coop down before by putting a heat lamp in there. Um, your chickens need four good solid walls and a roof. They need a good coop that's got a good floor in it that has, I say, has it doesn't have to have bedding, but it needs to be dry. So some people put kitty litter, some people put pea gravel. Um, there's all kinds of different things that you can put on the bottom of your chicken coop to maintain a dry area for your chickens. Um, that's the biggest thing with chickens, you don't want them to get wet. So if you've got a good floor, four walls, and a good roof so that your chickens are not getting wet, while allowing, you need to have areas where your chicken coop can vent. Um, I have a door that stays open on my chicken coop for them to go in and out all the time. I don't have an automatic door. Um, and there's also cracks in the ceiling um, on, my, on my chicken coop. So my chicken coop's not specifically clean right now because I've been off for a week. So don't judge me on that, but I'm gonna flip you around. So the girls have their fresh water there and their food, and this is their, their short run for right now. Um, that is the big old tree that fell on it. And as you can see, there's bent and crippled pieces of fencing. Um, so we've got some cleanup here to do. Uh, and it only squished just a very small portion of the um, chicken coop, but it just squished this, this corner in. Here. but this is a good example you see that crack along there that crack is it's open that's ventilation for them so chickens need you know the four walls a good floor and this has a good floor on it um, I use bedding inside to keep it dry and then it just has needs to have ways to vent and so all around the top we have it to where it's covered to where the water can't get in you know there's a lip underneath there so the rain can't get in the coop but all the way around there is venting so that there's plenty of ventilation for the birds um, and inside again please don't judge me i haven't been out in a week so um, i need to do some cleaning but oh and there's an egg in the middle of nowhere i'll take that oh so I need to get my coops cleaned out. I try to clean them every week and I haven't been out for a week because my back's been bad. But, um, so they have their roosting bars and you can see clearly the ventilation on the top. So that's all they need. And then just something to keep this dry. And I know that there's, there's fe that this, this group is going through molt. So there's feathers and there's some poo on the floor, but it's dry. Um, you guys can see, if I go like right here, this is all completely dry, poop and all. Um, so there's no moisture in here. And as long as your birds are dry, they will not get too cold. Um, I've never had a problem as long as they had somewhere to get out of the weather, um, out of the wind that um, there wasn't too much moisture that stayed dry. Uh, your chickens are very cold hardy. It's heat really that, that gets to them really bad. Uh oh, chicken police is here. So anyway, sorry you guys, all of that said, I just wanted to give you some tips and a little bit of peace of mind for those of you who are freaking out and worrying so bad about your chickens. As long as they have got somewhere to be dry and out of the wind, the big thing is, is you want them to be out of the wind, you want them to be out of the weather, so dry and out of the wind, they will be fine. Um, but if you want to, you know, do your research for heat lamps. Um, and, and there's other ways that you can heat your coop if you want to, but I'm here to tell you, um, I was in central Oregon where the temperatures get minus 20 degrees. I did not heat my chicken coops, my chickens were fine. And now of course here we've gotten to minus nine this winter. I have not heated my chicken coops, haven't had a loss. So uh, there you go, do what you want with it. But. Uh, if I can give somebody some peace of mind that's a new chicken owner that's worried to death about their babies, um, if you're giving them a 
house and a shelter and you're providing them with fresh clean water and food every day you're doing awesome now i don't think i videoed this group or told you about what i did you guys but long story short i broke the chicken tractor so we had to fix it and in the process of fixing it we were using the tractor and the tractor broke so <laughs> Needless to say, the tractor is sitting here waiting for the mechanic to come work on it. I believe that the chicken coop is fixed and it will be able to be moved once we can get the tractor out of the way. But for now, this is where the pasture coop is sitting, um, just kind of waiting for them to be mobile again. And with that little tidbit of information, you guys, I appreciate you coming along, doing some morning chores with me. I'm going to get out in the barn and get some work done. I hope you have a great day. I'll catch you on the next one. Yours truly.